Okay, so the first one, uh, the first repetition structure that we will discuss is the while loop. So the while loop is a common repetition structure, the simplest as well as the most fundamental. So um, the while loop repeatedly executes a target statement or a group of statements or just one statement as long as a given condition is true. So from the previous video that we have discussed, um, a condition is also known as your controlling expression that, uh, that we evaluate or that we evaluate or we use to determine whether to continue looping or stop the loop. Okay, so um, here's the flow chart of your wide loop syntax as well as its form. And we will discuss uh, each of this, each of the part. All right, so uh, first you have your condition or your controlling expression, and um, you will first uh, evaluate the condition. So we use here the basic keyword while, and uh, after your while keyword, it's followed by your parenthesis that encloses your controlling expression or your condition. Okay, so um, we evaluate your condition first, and if your condition is true, then it will execute a sequence of statements or what we call as the while loop body. And um, the process will continue to uh, execute or will be repeated. And the condition will be re-evaluated while, uh, while your condition is true. But if your condition becomes false, then the while loop is terminated or we simply skip the while loop body and proceeds to executing the statement below the while loop. Okay, so um, a while loop might not, might not execute at all. So why? Because um, uh, the, syn the syntax of your while loop is that it checks your condition first. So if your, con uh, if your condition already returns a false on the first na uh, on the first iteration, then it will not execute at all. So it will just uh, skip the loop body and proceed to uh, proceed to executing the statement below your while na loop. So um, let's have an example. Suppose we have this code. Um, uh, first, of course, you have your uh, pet processor directive and your main um, program. And then uh, suppose we are we have uh, declared and initialized an integer uh, variable a, uh, which has a value of one. Okay, so our condition is that while your a is less than six, then we will be printing the value of a, and then we increment your a, and then we will increment your a. So, all right, so. Uh, your a is your uh, your a is less than six is your controlling expression, and while uh, and um, this is your loop body, your print f as well as your incrementing na incrementing step or the update. So this incrementing uh, your a plus plus or your increment or your update is very important because if we uh, if we do not add this, then our um, while loop will just continue on uh, executing. Okay, so there is no way for uh, your condition to be false. So let's have an uh, let's uh, explain this one by one. Okay, so we have a flow chart here. So this is your counterpart. So your line four, uh, your declaration or your initialization uh, corresponds to this. Your initialized a equals one, and then it is followed by executing your a uh, while na body. So it will evaluate your condition first your while, while your a is less than 6. Then uh, if it is true, it will print the value of a. And then it will increment the a. And then it will return to your condition and will reevaluate again with the new value of a. So once your, uh, once your a uh, is equal to 6 or is become 6, then it will return a for false and will and the uh, program. So, okay, so let's check. So suppose we have um, A, initially our value is one, and now it will check your, evaluate your condition. So your A is equal to one, is one less than six. So yes, it is true. So it will 
print your statement, a value of a one. And now it will proceed to your update. So we increment a, so now a will be equal to two. Now uh, we, will, uh, we will go back to our uh, condition. So we will reevaluate. Re so now your a is equal to two and is your two less than six? Yes, it is still true. So it will still execute the statement printf value of a. So now it will print value of a is equal to two, then it will increment a again. So now your a is less than, is equal to three. Now let's go back to your condition again. So uh, is your, is three less than six? Yes, it is still true. So it will print value of a now with uh, three. Okay, it will increment uh, a again. Now we have a becomes four and it will reevaluate your condition. Is four less than six? It is still true. So it will print a value of a, the new value of a, then it will increment a again. Now a is equal to five and a five is still less than six. So it will still execute your statements. And now uh, we, uh, on this increment, a now becomes six. Now. Uh, when we go back to our condition, is six less than six? Now it will be, it will return false because six is equal to six, of course. So it will return a false. So it will end the program.